best way to deal with it uh, uh, is to um, look at my talent. I suppose my favourite moment has got to be when I was asked to become uh, HA Senate, I suppose. Uh, um, I was appointed in December 2008 um, to try and uh, 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 convince the ITV commissioners of an exciting new game show concept. Mm. Uh, and uh, the audition went really, really well. Uh, I was then working on the show by myself uh, for four months. I had to go through three separate auditions. So I am the world's first chaser. So every chaser, not only in England, but around the world, uh, you know, comes uh, from moi. So, you know, it's an honour for me to be the, the first chaser ever appointed to this brilliant concept of a quiz show. Uh, then they uh, appointed Mark um, in April 2009. Uh, the pair of us went up to Manchester to do a 10 show pilot, and the rest they say is history. Um, you know, it's taken Mark around the world, it's taken me around the world. Mark's the, the American chaser, he's the Australian chaser. I've done the Australian version of the chase. And, you know, we've had, uh, uh, since both myself and Mark were appointed, we had four more additional brilliant chases and uh, the show's just gone on from strength to strength. We've had spin-offs uh, like uh, um, Chase Celebrity. We've had Beat the Chasers, which has really gone through the roof. Mm. And, uh, you know, June, we celebrated 12 years as a uh, fantastic, really. Um, I don't think it was warranted. And I can understand people's concerns thinking that, um, um, that the reason why it uh, was used initially was to sort of um, have uh, underlying uh, uh, racial overtones. And uh, I, I can tell you now, it uh, couldn't be further from the truth. Um, the only reservation I did have uh, was that uh, it was uh, a nickname belonging to a former world boxing champion, Nigel Benn. And I thought that uh, he may take umbrage if he saw me on the street and say, oh, you need my nickname. <laughs> uh, so personally speaking, uh, I, I was never offended. Uh, when I'm in Australia, they call me the destroyer. Now, um, you know, they may be so-called politically correct, but I, uh, you know, I basically take um, uh, exceptions to why they're so uh, politically correct. Is it because of the fact that they're sort of guilty in relation to the way uh, in which they treat their indigenous population and they're trying to be seen to correct? Uh, I'm not offended at all. And, and um, you know, that was never Bradley's intention when he gave me that nickname. I'm still known as the legal legal sometimes anyway, but uh, everybody know, obviously knows me as a dark destroyer. And the way in which I look at it is that I'm dark, I'm proud of my colour, and I destroy people with my intellect. Um, it didn't impact me, because if I if I'd allowed it to be uh, allowed it to impact me, then it would have made me bitter, twisted, uh, and, and made probably react uh, in a reactionary way when I'm confronted by people in authority who basically practice that. So mm -hmm. the best way to deal with it uh, uh, is to um, look at my talent. I'm a qualified lawyer, I'm a mastermind champion. You can say what you like. Um, you won't get me to actually rise up, rise to debate. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, not everybody's blessed with my temperament. Uh, and um, I always simply say that, uh, you know, if you are confronted with that, um, you've got nothing to fear if you've done nothing wrong. Um, I, I, I'm okay. Black History Month is a good thing because we recognise it, but we shouldn't just confine it to October. This mm. is something which should be uh, uh, practiced all the year round. They should recognise uh, uh, black achievement. Uh, so they should recognise uh, um, uh, you know people from different uh, different ethnic backgrounds uh, do have the ability uh, to make a positive contribution by virtue of their talent. Uh, in, in the workplace and you know it's not something which I think uh, that you know you think uh, okay it's October we should basically um, be seen to be doing the right thing then sort of put it back in the box for 11 months no uh, uh, proper businesses uh, uh, recognize uh, all year round uh, uh, the uh, diverse talent uh, that uh, black and ethnic minorities do have and can bring to the organization and once they start getting out the fact that uh, it's only October we should be focusing on uh, the better it is that businesses will grow and thrive. Mm -hmm.